In this movie, we'll be working with multiple open documents at once using application frame. Now, just a little disclosure about myself. I used Illustrator. Prior to that, I used Freehand, which is another vector drawing program that Adobe bought and pretty much killed, <laughs> killed off. So I had to switch to Illustrator. And one thing that I did in Illustrator when I first started using it is for years, I worked just like it's showing here where I have this window open and I have my file open. I have my toolbar and my uh, other palettes over here, etc. But notice I have these gaps where you could see the background, you know, whether it's on the left side, whether it's on the right side. And it didn't really bother me but it wasn't necessarily a clean environment like that. So if by default you don't have the application frame turned on, I'm going to first show you that because it does make for a more pleasant visual experience, but it does work really great. So we're going to go. So don't make my mistake, which I work years like this until somebody showed me this. I'm like, are you kidding me? So just go to window, pull down, and we're going to go down to application frame and turn it on. And look at how much nicer it looks. It's so great. Now, if you prefer your toolbar over here, it could be collapsed and it'll just adapt. I like mine open like that, but it's a much better experience as you're working. It helps you to focus and it just looks a lot cleaner. Now, if you need to work on multiple documents at one time, we have this document open, this uh, reef ride, but we wanna open two other documents. So we're gonna go up to file and we're gonna go down to open, click on that. We're on our desktop and we're gonna select this Cal Moon file and this West Portal Fog file, and we're just gonna click open. You can see it opens those two documents, but it opens them in tabs. So here's the West Portal one. It's a vertically oriented file. Here's one that's horizontal and it's the Cal Moon and of course our original Reef Ride. Now, how do you work on these like multiple documents at one time. Well, you could work this way with tabs. I do this every day on most things, but you can also, if you really wanted to, you, there's a couple ways you can do it. You could pull a tab off and drop it, and now you have this floating window, but you can see it covers your interface and stuff at times, so it's not ideal to work this way. So I don't think this is the best way to do it. And you could pull out all three like this and kind of arrange them. I've actually seen friends of mine do that. And I'm like, you're crazy. Why are you working that way? There's better ways to do it. And I want to show you the better way. So all we're going to do uh, to redock it to uh, the tabs menu, you just grab the header anywhere, drag and drop. And as soon as this is blue, let go. And then you can even rearrange if you want Cal Moon to be second. And again, we could go like this, or maybe you wanted West Portal to be the first one, then you could just drag it over and it'll just put it right into place. So that's how that looks. But that's one way you could do it. You could just simply drag the tab out and let it float above the other file you have open. But I think there's a better way to do this. So let me show you uh, what that better way is. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the Arrange Documents button in the top right. You see this icon, you hover over it. And by the way, if you're not seeing um, the hover over, it's a preference. So you'll just want to go to preference and turn on tool tips. That way it'll kind of remind you what you're doing. Once you start memorizing it and you, you understand it after a period of time, you can turn it off. And normally when I record movies, I tend to turn that off just because it can kind of get in the way at times. But I just wanted to explain that. So let's go up here to arrange documents and click on it. And these have all these pre uh, kind of pre-formatted layouts for open documents. So we have three documents open. So we're going to use this three up one and just click it. And you can see it puts every document, it kind of stacks it really nicely. And then each of these, once you click on that document, you know, you can reposition these with the hand tool if you want 
or if we go here to the cow one, maybe we move this over a little bit, and then on this one, the same thing. So this is another way you can work, and this is more ideal than having uh, the floating window above an open file because your user interface is easy to access still. So this is how you do that. Now, there is um, a, another way if you wanted to get back, that is, to your tab menu. Well, you could drag these into another tab and do it that way, or you can simply go to Window, and you can go down to Arrange, and you can go to Consolidate All Windows, and it will push them all back into these nice nested um, tabs. And this is to be honest with you, this is the way I work. I rarely have need to have all those documents visible at once, but if you're working, one type of project I work on every now and then is iconography. It's a great way to work for that because you can focus on, on a build file for one and then compositionally setting them up on a template for another that you're going to present to a client. So this is just one of many functions in Illustrator that'll help you customize how you prefer to work and that'll make your creative process easier and more enjoyable.